Welcome back. Are you a math educator who invests tons of time in creating those math equations and worksheets? Then you're in the right spot. In today's session, I will be showing you how to create all those equations, not by typing them in, but by simply writing them out in Microsoft Word. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. Here I'm on my Microsoft Word and my goal here is to show you how simple and easy it is to go ahead and draw the equation that you see on the screen. To do that, all I have to do is click on my draw tab and then pick ink to mat. But if you don't have this draw tab, this is what you do. You click on your files, scroll all the way down to options. In here, you're going to click on customize ribbon. You will go all the way on the top here and scroll and make sure you're on main tabs. And here you will click on your draw tool, click add and click OK. But if you have the draw tool, but ink to math feature is missing, you will click on this little arrow here. Let me scroll up, click on this little arrow here, scroll all the way down until you find convert and go ahead, click on convert, make sure you have convert ink to math add it and then click OK. And once that's done, you will automatically see that feature all the way above in your draw tab. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to click on ink to math. And as you can see, a math input control window pops up. You can preview your equation here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the options that we have. The right option is, of course, when you're using your pen, you can go ahead and write your equation using a pen. The erase option lets you erase. The select and correct will let you select and correct the math equations. And clear by default is clear. So let's go ahead and type in, uh, write in the equation. I'm going to go ahead, cosine x. Plus, it does take some time for you to figure out like how based on your handwriting. And once you know how it's done, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let me go ahead and write my cosine x here. As you can see, it interpreted that as a 7. But as soon as I change it, it automatically changes that into an x, so cosine x. And now I'm going to go ahead and put that little cube right there. Cube. There you go. Cube. And there I have it. It is, I think it's plus or minus, but plus. And I'm going to go all the way here. And as, in, as you can see, once I get closer to the canvas, the canvas automatically adjusts itself. And I have cosine x on the top minus sine x divided by cosine. So the AI feature is detecting what I am writing, and it's automatically changing into the math equations. And now let me go ahead and put in the cube here. Cube on the top, and as you can see, that's not what I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead, take my eraser tool, erase the whole thing. And now let me go ahead and type in cosine x. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the little cube. There you go. And once this is done, this is equal to 2 and insert. As you can see, it was that simple. Now let's go ahead and try something else. I'm going to go back, click on my draw tool, click on ink to math, parentheses a plus b whole squared. As you can see, that turned out to be a 17. So I'm going to go back here, select it, and it's going to ask me, is that a 17, 7? I'm going to say, no, it's a B. And it automatically changes it to a B. And I'm going to go back, click on my right tool, equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And I'm going to click insert. Now let's go ahead and try some square root functions just to make sure that it can still type in or draw in. Again, click on draw, ink to math, and here minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And then I'm going to plug in insert. Now let's go ahead and try something else. I don't want to insert anything, but I just want to show you you can even have your summation sign 0 to 1, negative 1, parentheses, k. I'm just writing something on top of my hand, 2 to the power k. And that's not how you intended it to be. All you have to do is go back, erase it, and then give it some space. And 2 to the power k. And if that's not a z, depending on how your handwriting is, go ahead, select, and then say, hey, that's not z, that's 2 to the power k. And it automatically does it for you. And you click insert. Let's go and try integration. So integration 0 to 1 
let's just say this is x squared dx. There you go. What about sequence? That's the tough part. We're going to have to type in all those superfixes, suffixes, the powers. It gets very tedious. So let's go ahead and say a1. There you go. a1r. That's not a p. So I'm going to go ahead, select it, and it's going to ask me, is that a p? No, that's an r. And it automatically changes it for me. a1 r square. And again, I'm going to go ahead and select this part here. And that's a one. So there you go, a one. So it's very simple for you to go ahead and type in all these equations. Now, let me clear this. And let's just say I am writing x cube plus y power five minus three x squared, the whole to the power, um, that's not an i, to the power. Let me erase that little thing there. It automatically takes it to be an i. So to the power, let's just say it's one over three. There you go. It's so simple. And then I can always go ahead, add a fraction to this one, divided by square root. And let's just say the square root is a fraction again. So I can put x over 2 plus y. I'm just randomly throwing in variables to show you how easy it is to go ahead and write your equation. And if you made a mistake, all you have to do is take your eraser and erase it. Or if you want to correct it, take the select and correct tab, highlight what you want to, and then it's going to change to whatever you want that to be changed into. So it's that simple, but you have to make sure you have the draw and ink to math feature enabled inside your Microsoft Word. I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you learn how to save time by drawing your equations in Microsoft Word using the draw tool. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know there are educators who are wasting tons of time just by typing in those intensive equations. I'll leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Technology and Canvas playlist. Do not forget to check them out. And comment in the comment section below. What did you use to type in your equations? Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.